Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Two Point Hospital, the spiritual successor to all intents and purposes to Theme Hospital, uh, made by some of the old developers from places like Bullfrog, Lionhead, they are now called Two Point Studios and this is their first title. It comes out on full release on the 30th of August, so about six weeks away at time of recording this video, but I've got myself an early access uh, version of it, so thank you very much to the developers for letting me bring that to you you guys and girls here. So first of all, if you go ahead and enjoy this video, please let me know by clicking the like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. So I'm so excited to be able to play this game. I uh, went down to Sega HQ a few weeks ago to get like a really brief, like an hour playthrough of it. Um, and we got a video out today, like a first look, the embargo lifted, and I was all happy and I was thinking, yeah, okay, that's all done. Six weeks time, we'll get to play it. And then in my email, they're like, oh no, here you go, here's the, here's the build that we've got at the moment. So this is an early access build, I think there are four hospitals, I think it's this one, this one, uh, probably this one, and where's the f there's a fourth one maybe? Or maybe it doesn't open up yet, I think they said there was four levels, uh, even still, this is an early access phase. So, I'm going to say that this is an early access series because when six weeks comes and the game is launched I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to carry on my progress or it'll be a new build most likely it'll be a new build so we'll start we'll probably look at starting fresh there so anyway I'm waffling let's get into the game so first of all look at this main screen it looks gorgeous doesn't it, it looks like Game of Thrones it's fantastic here is our first hospital Hogsport uh, begin your career as a hospital administrator learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital let us dive in so um, this and the next level are the ones I played uh, very briefly um, at the uh, developers so I know a little bit about what's going on but I'm going to take a little bit more time to do this properly if you don't if you're new to geekism um, uh, the regulars will tell you we're all about making stuff look pretty we're all about design we're all about creativity we're all about um, aesthetically pleasing gameplay often to the detriment of uh, actual gameplay okay so uh, here this is going to be all about making the place look nice. We're still going to have it run well, you know, as best as we can, but we're not just going to throw stuff down for it to work. We're going to make sure we are making the stuff look as nice as possible. Uh, so, first of all, whoa, look at that. That's tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, so, obviously, you know, early access, there's going to be issues with this, all right? Uh, but first of all, we've got to move around. We've got to look around enough for this bar to fill up. Boom! There we go, our first, uh, our first little mission is complete. First thing we need is a reception. So if I remember rightly, the uh, this game very much starts off just like Theme Hospital used to. Reception, GP's office, pharmacy, boom, you're good to go. Uh, so here we go, items. We only have a single item right there, which is our reception. Later on, you're able to build larger reception islands, and um, they look awesome, but for now, click and hold the left mouse to drag it left and right, Please like so. Please don't unplug them, that's right. And then Z and X will rotate as well. Uh, place it, click the left, right. I think also, shift. Is it shift? Oh, that control. Oh, it gives us free rotation. How sexy is that? But to be honest with you, we kind of want this uh, dead straight on anyway, don't we? So let's, um, let's figure out where the middle is, which is there. And we'll bring it in to there. Okay. We'll need an assistant to run the exception. Okay, so let's get a hire. An uh, assistant, cool. So we got Angela Flan, Asquith Cups, and Text Abortery. The names are fantastic. Now, I'll be honest with you, these two are jumping out at me Text Abortery and Asquith Cups. But staff, -wise, like skill wise, Angela Flan is nailing it. She's three stars, and then also she has these. So customer service, 50% uh, customer food sale, customer service two. Customers will be three. This one was amazing. Uh, what does Asquith have? Motivation, increased speed and efficiency. Text abortion has stamina training. Uh, so they've all got pros, but yeah, it's got to be it's got to be old Angela Flan, hasn't it? We're going to hire her. Um, um, we're going to pop her into. I say her. Is it a guy? Oh, it's a guy. What was his name? Uh, oh, sorry. We need a GP's office. Yeah. Angelina. Oh, okay. For you, Angelina. I'd have, I'd have said that was a female name, but you know, I'm, who are we to judge? Uh, all right, so we can change pay, happiness, energy is pretty good. I assume they have we have staff rooms and stuff. Uh, yeah, we saw staff rooms beforehand. Uh, we can give them a pay review. What's that? Oh, that just brings up all of them. Okay, right. So for now, we're okay with that. Look at all this stuff: mood, needs, thirst, hunger, toilet, all of these things. So all these buildings that we're going to put down that guests use, uh, guests, patients use, our staff are going to be looking at using them as well. Hygiene, attractiveness, comfort, energy is positive, Hogsport is lovely. Hogsport is lovely, you're right. Ah, oh, Hogsport's lovely. Okay, anyway, 
let's get our GP's office done and dusted. So I want to do. Um, we've only got this is a pretty small hospital. This is this is it for space. All right. Look at the little terrace houses over there. <gasps> I love the art style. It's fantastic. Okay, so GP's office. Uh, we'll go right on the back of this um, this here, and we'll do it like so. But we'll put the entrance over here. Okay. Um, so the desk itself kind of needs the first thing. Harrison Wolf's on the radio, which is pretty good. So we'll put the desk there. Finding cabinet. Uh, whoops. Over here. Yeah. And I kind of want a few of these. Can we get them a bit closer? We can. <gasps> Look at this. Here are some people so we've got some filing cabinets that all make sense. Uh, we've got to have a plant. Now look at all this stuff, by the way. Look at all of this. All of this stuff. Coffee machines, weighing scales, sweet dispensers. Loads of different paintings. There's the display skeleton. It's awards. Oh, my God. Drawings, medicine cabinets. There's hundreds and hundreds of things. Now, all of these, unfortunately, we need to unlock them with Ks. I think that's kudos, is it? Kudosh. Earn kudosh for your organization by completing challenges. Okay, so at the moment, unfortunately, we don't have any of this stuff, but we can still do the classic theme hospital, um, which is a plant, a bin, and an extinguisher. So we'll put a plant down. We'll put a nice plant down by his desk. Um, uh, there we go. Oh, they do nice little changes. What's that? Oh, that's Z and X I'm using there. Okay. Um, there we go. Free rotate there. Okay. Nice plant there for him. Or her could be a female doctor. Um, I, I say him because they always were hims in the in the last one, but this time, pretty sure they can be uh, either. We'll throw a bin down for them, um, and a fire extinguisher, of course, for when the health inspector comes. Um, we'll just stick that up in the in the corner there. Can we squeeze it on there? Well, no, it doesn't want us to put it there. Okay, that's fine. We'll go there for now a lot of dead space here to be honest with you a lot of dead space so i think what we might actually do can we remove yeah let's do that all right yeah okay just because we can because then we can have a like a, a, the opposite building of it here can't we um and we'll make good use of the space we need the doctor lionel tumbleweed Oscar Bench or Walter Bane. Walter Bane is smashing it. Four stars. He also has motivation. He also has diagnostics. Increased diagnostics skills. That's going to be useful for a GP. And uh, and treatment skills. That sounds not as useful. He's expensive. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hire him. What's money like? Oh yeah, two hundred grand there. Look. Wee wee wee. Okay. Sit yourself down there. Oh, what happened to the reception desk? Was the reception desk a little bit close to that room, was it? Uh, I think we might have messed that up a little bit there. Okay, we'll try that again. Um, there we go. There we go. We obviously were we obviously were a little close to that room. Never mind. Uh, there we go. Are you going to come and find yourself a job now, Angelina? Thank you very much. Uh, right. Oh, here we go. Ro zoom in the camera. Oh, we'll zoom it in and out. Rotate. Yes, we can do that. Pitch. We can... Is that, I'm assuming that's that one, yeah. Oh, there we go. Diagnose patient. Our first patient's here. Who is it? Hester Peters. Hester Peters, what's up with you, my love? Come on in. Um, Hester Peters is currently having an appointment in the GP's office. We can get rid of the items here. Let's close her down so we can actually see what's going on. You are diagnosed. We've diagnosed our first patient. GP has sent you a message. Miami Swing is playing. Pharmacy required. Okay. A doctors have discovered grout. Oh, nice. <laughs> grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms. Uh, modern medication is effective, uh, unlike earlier times when we had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. Oh, God, that sounds gross. The patient is seeking treatment. We'll need a pharmacy in order to treatment. It will cost 3100 to bill. Would you like to do it? Get patients to wait. We will get a pharmacy bill. No problem at all. Right. Uh, rooms. Pharmacy we now have available. So I guess, I mean, that down there seems to make the most sense, but I feel like we need to probably... Oh, no, it's not going to be big enough. Uh, what about that? Oh, yeah, there we go. That gives us a nice little throughput there. Okay. Uh, door. Can we get the door on here? Oh, I like it. I like that a lot, actually. Okay. I never was a massive fan of putting windows. I don't think these are the sort of rooms that you'd be able to look into, really, you know? Um, drug mixer can go there. And then we want some stuff along this wall here. Filing cabinets are a priority because, you know, they have to file all the the drugs away and all the information of the drugs. A three will do, actually. 
and then we'll put a plant here um, there we go get more plants available later on do we want another plant in here do we want this to be like a really nice room I think we do. You'll see here that we're filling up prestige here, and that makes the staff happier to work in the room and stuff, I think. Kind of guessing a little bit there, to be honest with you, but... Um, extinguisher. Put one over there by the window. Alright, happy with that. Look how this room makes. Room makes. What sort of... What sort of English is that? We do nurse. Keith... Oh my god, Keith by nurse extraordinaire. Uh, or Anna Gunge. I think money-wise, we're probably going to do alright here, so I'm just going to go straight in. Keith Pye, looking like a baller. He's hygienic. He believes believes they saw um, and had lunch with a Yeti. Nice. <laughs> so hygienic is the important bit there. That's good, though, that it tells you what's actually important and what's uh, just fluff, you know, funny funny bits. Okay. So who are you? What was your name again? Hester... No. Keith Pye. Love it. Keith Pye. Isn't, that, isn't there a guy? Oh no, Jonathan Pye is that guy on YouTube that does the funny videos presenting he's a uh, reporter. Okay, so here we go. We can get the concoction getting mixed up. Look at the coffee cups. The drug is mixed. I love it. They don't have stuff They don't have stuff uh, tested or anything. They're like, you need a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Get that down, yeah. Huzzah! How happy she sounds. Patient cured. Well done. Awesome. By curing patients, we're going to improve hospital reputation. Hospital reputation groups these patients successfully cured, but decreases when a treatment fails, especially if a patient dies. A higher reputation attracts more patients and better staff are higher. That sounds good to me. Okay, so... Um, rep oh, here's reputation. Okay, fine. We've got 10 kudosh, and we are at a level 2 hospital. Janitors and maintenance. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines de deteriorate with use. Uh, so yeah, we need a janitor. Okay, hire. Janitors. Uh, Annabelle Duve. <laughs> These names, man. Annabelle Duve has maintenance skill, mechanics level 1 and 2, and maintenance 2. They don't have ghost capture, which I think is going to come important a little bit later on. So for now, we'll go for, we'll go for uh, this young lady. She's going to come in and sort ourselves out. Okay. We'll be called to repair a machine when it's maintenance level falls below 50. You can also repair it. You can also, yeah, micromanage it. All right. Well, for now, pause to keep your staff and patients happy. Patients will get bored, thirsty, and hungry over time. Uh, and if they heal happy, they will go. So we need to make, yeah, we need to make the place look good, don't we? Two benches. All right. Uh, items. Oh, here we go. It's a, oh, the whole game's opened up now. Look. So I feel like we should have some benches here. Top Top brands to the roof. Awesome. Um, oh, look at this. You can really get them. Is that because somebody's sitting on them? They're messing up. Okay, well, it's all right. We don't really want them to be too messed up anyway, do we? Lives. There we go. I've tried hypnotizing myself with pendulums and pocket watches. Okay. Now, I know it only says put two down, but I want to have a bit of a like main waiting area here, to be honest with you. And then another thing. Okay. And I say one thing. Nope. Oh. And then another thing. This guy on the radio, man, I don't know what he's on about. <laughs> um, I feel like I am hypnotized a little bit listening to him. One more. How much space did we leave in between? Pretty much one. Is that right? Is that how much space we left? Two. Oh, no, it's too much. We must have left that much space before. Okay, well, I'm assuming we can... Pick, pick, oh look at that just drag it up so that's so uh so oh what's the word so good that's not the word i'm looking for <laughs> uh leaflet stands yeah let's get some leaflets by the door um for people to have a look at we'll put some oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. where's our uh, where's our member of staff we'll put some of them there as well i think where's our uh... are you all right do you need a, you're on a break for five days what um, can we can we just pick you up and put you where we need to put you? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Well, you go straight back to work. Yeah, yeah. You can have a break when you when I tell you you can have a break. Um, what else do we need? Drinks machine and snacks machine. Okay, drinks machine. You're gonna go over here. Burp drinks machine and a cheesy gubbins snack machine. Beautiful. 
let's get a bin as well. See if we can get that a little bit closer. Oh, it's George. It wants to, it wants to go. It wants to go. There we go. And I guess a plant around here as well. Oh, hello. Staff energy and brakes. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be a staff room, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Um, I just feel that like these just need to be on a slight wonk. Oh, look. Head. Oh, it just showed me. Is that over here somewhere? Information. Visualization. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Let's have a look at this. Attractiveness. Oh, okay. So the pharmacy's lovely. And a little bit of the waiting room is. So we need to make this. Oh, yeah. We need to get on our plants here. Where can we get a plant that's not going to be in the I way too much? To not to hear you complain. <laughs> can we squeeze you in there? Doesn't quite let you go, does it? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, okay. What about. Oh, what about there? Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Just on the edge of the two two uh, bench rows there. There we go. Oh, there we go. So you're pretty happy if you're sitting in this place now. Um. And it probably needs one over here as well. Plants. You get quite a few plants in hospitals, right? Right? <laughs> I don't know. We, we, we're going to have lots of plants everywhere, though. Uh, what does leafling stands do? Anything? It reduces boredom. Nice. So, yeah, all these little things, they actually do do stuff, you know? Do do. <laughs> uh, build a staff room then. Let's have a look. Uh, rooms. Staff room. I will not lower my expectations. My expectations are being preceded. Uh, exceeded even. Staff room. All right. The walls have gone a bit funny, but we'll let it go. So, sofa, armchair, drinks, and things. So, oh, look at all this dartboard, TV. <gasps> look, arcade machines. We can unlock a radiator if we want to. We won't. Certificate. And room prestige. So it's telling us that we've got K, K stuff. To, oh, look, drawings. Back, big bin, food pyramid poster. Oh, that's good. Clock. How much is the clock? I'm tempted to order the clock. Yes. I want a clock. But for now, we need to work on this. Um, okay, let's do something like this. Because I don't think we have TV yet. No, we don't have TV yet. So for now, we're going to have quite a um, quite a friendly, quite an open uh, staff room. You know, people are going to have get pretty friendly in here. Um, not like that, but you know, friendly. Can this not fit in there because of the? Oh, because they're in the way. Okay, well let's move you over just a little. All we need it is enough to get. Um, there we go. So that oh I see the footprints have got to be able to get there. So somebody can get there and water that, can't they? Uh, right, snack things across here, I guess, for the staff. They'll be happy with that. We've got plants. We've got. We need a bin by the snack things so that people can throw away their empty garbage when they're done. And a fire extinguisher needs to go in every building because I'm super big on fire safety. It's a shame we can't get one. There's a there is somewhere. Look, if you'd go it quick. It, it, it won't let you do it. That's really strange. Um, but there we go. That, that's not too bad, is it? Uh, all right. So we'll say that's... Oh, we've got a clock, haven't we? Let's put our clock in. Um, there we go. Clock on the wall. In the event of an there, in between the two windows. Done. Oh, look at it. And look at that. Oh, I wonder if that was because that was on. That was affecting that wall. <gasps> look at the sexy floor. And what that is a... That is a... Do you know what that reminds me of? Um, that reminds me very much of uh, Evil Genius. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if they're no beans. Well, Janet is my saying. So we need a new janitor, do we? Oh, toilets. Okay. We've got bins. Yeah, we know that. We've got bins. Oh, okay. So we'll definitely get some more stuff in there eventually. Toilets unlocked. Okay, I'm assuming everyone's going to clear off for a, for a rest now because they've been uh, dying for it. Toilets. Um, I want to keep that in case we have a treatment room. This seems like a nice small toilet, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a, a small toilet. Um, it must not be in this now. I know. Ah, there, golden toilet. I need 40, K40. Yeah, that, that's an extra because I signed up to a, a mailing list. So if you want the golden toilet in your game, go to the Two Point Hustle website and sign up to their mailing list. It, it's attached to Steam and it gets you the golden toilet. Um, we really should get uh, we really should get K20 when, we, when we've got going. So I'll tell you what, let's put 
two in and we'll leave that space ready for our golden toilet if it happens i don't know if it will or not um let's do just the one sink will do with the hand dryer to the side of it yeah that's good and then um actually no we can do the same you can do that on that side as well can't we i just want to get away from the mirror the window a little it's not gonna though it's okay oh the music's good oh it reminds me of shaboom Life should be a dream. Oh, I love it. Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. Okay. I went to the Cirque du Parfait recently. Okay, I don't think anything else is in there. We'll just go like that. Let's give us Ken. Yeah, the second we get one of them, we're putting the golden toilet down. Uh, janitor says, yeah, should we get another janitor? Is, that, is it telling us maybe another janitor is useful? Further diagnosis. Yeah, we do need some more diagnosis. Maintenance. Uh, we haven't got I want one with the with the ghost thing, just in case. Okay, let's get a general diagnosis up. GD. Um, hospital level. Where's our hospital level? Get hospital level 3. Current level is 2. Okay. Now, when we get... Um, that can be our GD there. And we'll keep this relatively open. Okay. Is that a bit big for a GD? I don't think we're going to have anything to the side of it, though. That's the problem. Unless, if we do that, we might be able to get a small thing there. A little room there, maybe. Um, all right, door. There, good. So what do we get in this then? An easy scan. That's just like a yeah, a general cardio machine. So we'll have that there. Oh, we also have an examination table. Okay. Filing cabinets again. I love me some filing cabinets, and until we get until we get more stuff, we're gonna have a lot of filing cabinets. Um. There we go. Let me zoom in. There we go. And another one there. Okay, good. So there's our three. Oh, they're, they're a bit squiff. Sorry. There we go. That's better. I'm uh, happy with that. We'll get a bin down there as well. Happy for the bins just to kind of sit in the corner. That makes the most sense, to be honest with you. We'll get a nice plant over here. And we'll get a... What does the clock do? Increases hospital attractiveness. I'll take that bit of attractiveness can't go anywhere there needs to be a little bit away from the wall that's fine and extinguisher of course not that I don't think it particularly needs one in here but uh, yeah no I don't like the windows I just don't I'm glad they don't have to have them because yeah they just wouldn't have windows would they not maybe like in a ward or a surgery kind of a window looking in but here no um so who needs to work here Let's have a look. Is there a way to find out? General diagnosis. Stats. Thank you, love. She's just helped me out. There we go. A nurse. Because I used to be a doctor in the original one. So, oh my God. Vivian Nerd has two treatment, level three treatment. Right. I'll tell you what then. You're going to get hired, but you are going to treat in here. And you, my good man, are going to get picked up. Keith Pye, you're going to be our new uh, GD nurse because... That's much better. Peculiar new illness in town, lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office to, to keep on top of things. Okay, well, we'll keep an eye on it. We have 40k. We can do our toilet. We can do our toilet. So can we search for it up here? Oh, here we go. Um, does it class as seating? <laughs> no. Um, what would it class as, I wonder? Yes, talking of toilets. Decorative? No. God, there's loads of stuff, but I can't think where I would find... So hand sanitizer, that's so neat. Um, okay. I'd... Oh, oh, that's nice, isn't it? No, I don't want to filter anything. Can you turn that off? I don't... Oh, there we go. That's what I was doing wrong. Oh, I like this look. See, once I've got a bit... bit oh, look at these! Gift shop! <gasps> News agents! Oh, wow. This... Uh, do you know what? I, I Like I said, I only had an hour or so before. This telephone... Oh, this is... Right. This is showing me stuff I can build in here. What I actually want to do is go into this one and edit it. There we go. There's the toilet. So where's our golden compass? Uh, golden toilet. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Oh yes. Need some extra dough. 
Boom. Call smell my cash. Smell my cash. <laughs> because an 80% oh, I love it. Payment rate is nothing to sniff I love it. We should consider lowering our outgoings or making more money. We're going to make money now, don't worry. We're going to make money. What are all these? Item controls. Yeah, I know that. Misery got discovered. Okay, and illness. Bogwarts discovered. Uh, pharmacy. Okay, so so far everyone's been treated by the pharmacy, which is pretty good. But I, um, I don't think that's going to last. Let's get uh, um, build another G. It does. It wants me to build a new GP's office. Okay, well. Um, okay, if we can stick a little one up here, I mean, we could do that. People aren't really going to have to get through. That's staff room there, so, yeah, okay, I mean, it's... No, I feel actually we're probably better having it open. But, uh... Okay, hold on. Um... So we need to have a desk in it. There we go. So I have the desk right in the middle. So you come in and feel really sort of ominous. We'll go for these down here. Close as we can, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, actually, just two, I think, in this one. It's a smaller office, isn't it? We'll get a clock on the wall, but somewhere so the doctor can see it. Uh, I'll try not to die. Bin, uh, the bin just has to go next to the next to there, doesn't it? Really, so it's useful. Plans. We'll have a plant over in the corner here, um, and that is that's it. Okay, let's hire another. Do oh, I don't know if you can hear my son in the background. He's just kicking off. Um, he's all right though. It's bath time. He loves his bath. Diagnosis, motivation, emotional intelligence, bedside manner, and stamina training. Expensive. Do you know what? Yeah, hire it. If we if money's really that bad, we'll figure it out in the future. But hospital level has increased. Oh, it's level four now. Nice. Okay. Ward required. A doctor has discovered a new illness. Bell bed face. Quite alarming. Contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors uh, recommends using. Uh, bed protractor to monitor your sleeping hours. Patients seeking treatment will need a ward in order to treatment. Uh, yeah, get patients to wait. And uh, yeah, get patients to wait. Yeah, get patients to wait. Okay, so yeah, we need a ward like desperately. <laughs> um, how are we doing for time on this video? Twenty-seven minutes. Let's go a little bit longer. Two point hospital ministries to recognise the achievements of every hospital in the county. If you can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, the hospital will be rewarded an official star rating. Right, we need the one star. That's what moves us on to the next level. So. Cure three patients with lightheadedness. Well, we have the deluxe clinic there, but we also need a ward. So let's get um, let's get a decent sized ward going because these people are all waiting for one. All right. So uh, nurse station needs to be kind of down the front here, somewhere that people can go and change. We'll stick that right in the corner, and then the beds themselves uh, kind of need to get them. All around the outside, don't we? Really? So let's do one, two. We won't. We won't squeeze people in. Uh, this isn't an NHS. This is um, a private hospital. So we'll go for. We'll go for four. That should be okay. Oh look, bedside table. They look just like the ones in hospitals. That's crazy good. Okay, clock on the wall there, so the nurse can see what's going on. Filing cabinets. We'll get a little row of these over here. Suggestions. Please send them in. I'll keep you posted how much search costs. Anything's better kind of want them here that the that the nurse can get to, you know. Cones. We're missing a doctor. Yeah. White coat, average height, answers to doctor. Can we get you in there? Yeah. And then one more in there. Okay, they're not quite lined up right, but I'm going to go for it. A little bit of weird space around the back of it actually as well, but never mind. And uh, okay, well that's a good space for one of. Them. Oh, hello. What on earth is this? Two point county healthcare ward. Oh my god, this is just like the movies. Here he is. Jeremy Corbyn is awarding us with open. Let's have a look at this. The Burp Award for Doctor of the Year is goes to Bungle Meditech. I don't think that's us. Should we just do open all? I, I can't imagine we've won anything. Oh, we have Rising Star Awards. Awards to medical professional who. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> I don't know why. That was all a bit swift, wasn't it? <laughs> um. Okay, let's get one of you in. 
and yeah, plant is the next thing, isn't it? Really, we need a plant right there on the edge of the desk that they can kind of water. And then these here, Nurse Knuckles, tiny private space. These, I don't know whether they're used by the nurses or what, but they look just like the um, the sort of things you get to put your stuff in next to a hospital bed. I unfortunately have spent a bit of time in hospital for various different things. Um, most recently, I'm most regularly sorry for my labyrinthitis. I, I was end up on a stroke ward a few times for that because it's uh, it's rough but anyway yeah they have these little beds so that's what we're looking at there all right so yeah oh that looks good oh what's invalid that there was invalid okay let's just see if we can figure out why it was invalid yes it's all right now it must have just been placed a little bit close to that bed oh the wards look really good Look at the bedpan on the desk. <laughs> and the plant's doing good stuff there. Yeah. Now, are you a nurse? So where have you gone from? You've gone for a GD. So now let's have a look at hiring a new nurse. Who's got, like, in bedside manner or pharmacy? Oh, pharmacy management. Okay, so let's hire you for there. You, you're the diagnosis one, aren't you? Treatments. So you go in here then for treatments because most of these people are coming in for bed face treatment. Let's have a look what they look like. I don't think they have a particular particular look about them, do they? Um, and no, 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 no. You go here. You come with me. You now there. So lightheadedness. We need lightheadedness to cure people. So that's the deluxe clinics. So we're going to take the light bulbs off them. You see, deluxe. Ha <laughs> ha. I love it. Uh, whoa! Look at this. This is our first sort of proper bit of kit. And we need a we need a thing that the, the number of staff stands behind as well. Got a serious business this console. Okay, so let's get we get a few bits in here. Nothing crazy though, I don't think, because you know, really you just got that big old uh, the 45th caller today thing. will win tickets to the rock festival taking place next month. Okay. I admire a station manager's optimism. Okay. The most callers we've ever had in a day was Six. Right. Deep. Oh, look, they're already waiting for it. So what does this need to staff? Let's have a look. Uh, Doctor, Walter Bain is on his way. Is that you? Walter Bain, you are smashing it, mate. Uh, let's just get a few benches down here for people who are waiting. Please try not to panic. I feel bad. Oh, well, it's a bit near the door. Okay. Can I, sorry, deluxe patients. You're going to... You're going to have to get shifted a little. You need to be there. Okay, so there. Two, three. Oh, I love how the little bulb flickers. There we go. And you can see these getting cured here as well. Look at that. Oops. Completely messed that up. Um, I should have be able to pick these up before. There we go. Gonna plant there and should get like a few bits as well to keep them occupied. Yes. 500k. God, man, they're gonna have to come in thick and fast, those. Drinks machines on the back wall here. So a few quid off them while they're waiting. Oh, yeah, look at this. I'm loving the look of this place already. It's not covering its costs. I don't care. <laughs> We're having a great time. <laughs> um, it's probably because we picked all the possible best staff we could, I think, is the issue. Uh, but we're curing people now. Look, this is coming in. Kudos. Um, by completing objectives and challenges, we earn kudos. Okay, yes, we have 30 kudos now. So we could afford... Um, we could afford all sorts, can't we? So filter all of the items. Um, we could get a small radiator. We could get a chair. Hmm. We could get... What else can we afford? Not much. Oh, an eye test. That's cool. A Rorschach test. Uh, oh, look at that fountain. Indoor fountain. Wow. I can order a big bin. Hospital, yeah. I would like another plant. How much is the cheapest plant? Rose 500. Cacti. Cactuses too. Oh, there. That one. <gasps> look, a letter. 
Dear hospital administrator, one star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's one out of a possible three by the two point health ministry. I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. <laughs> Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets if you believe you are capable of more. Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. The choice, as they say, is yours. Thank you, Tarquin Foxbridge. Now, we get a light-headed poster and a new hospital. Now, normally, um, in the original, I say normally, in theme hospital, you would, if you moved on, you'd never come back to this island, this uh, hospital. But you do in this. You can come back if you want to. So I think we should move on, earn some more money, get some more cool stuff, and then if we need, in the future, we can come back to this and increase our stars. Okay, so that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to um, open map. Rise and shine oh, everyone. look at this. And, if you and we're moving on up. Morning, to lower bollocks. Watch out for the gathering of druids down at Crag Ben's ring. Oh, druids! Yes, it looks like and a proper little uh, little village. The town will also be host to a psychology convention. Lower bollocks now available. It work out nicely. It should do, shouldn't it? It will all well all work out nicely in episode two. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it uh, as much as I have. If you have, please uh, click on the like button. It really does help out the channel. And uh, like I say, if you are new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups don't forget to click subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions you can pop them down in the comments if you fancy a chat you can find me on twitter i'm at john t sparrow and if you'd like to join in with the geekism community you can do so over on our geekism discord server you'll find the link for that in the description thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one